All right, gonna take some time here for some lands of wrath. And uh, where can I say hi at? You gotta excuse me, I'm up. The hair's all crazed. Callendale might have met his match. All right, so anyway, uh, what we got going on here? We're gonna take it easy. I'm telling you what, we've got games set up here. We got Central America going on there. We got, I got YouTube videos. I'm a big uh, Sasquatch. I get into that Bigfoot Sasquatch stuff. I got all kinds of videos there to watch. And the ones that I like are the ones where these people are, don't even have like a cryptid channel. They're not really into, you know, stuff like that. They're just regular camping channels. And I like to watch my camping channels a lot where they're out for some reason in a snowstorm. <laughs> I watch the heck out of those on YouTube. But the ones I really like is like the guy that is a metal detector. Or he's out looking for metals and, uh, you know, souvenirs. And when they have encounters, that's the one I like. So I'm watching this gal. She's in Britain, and she's mostly got a camping channel. But she's hearing some stuff out there. And I was like, that's great. You know, and her, they, they all know about it. And they all think about it when they hear these noises. But, you know, it's and they might be trying to get views. You know, you never know. And a guy could say, hey, if I if I say I think I got a Bigfoot outside my tent, I'll get 100,000 views, which is true. But they, they do a good job of it. And some of them are authentic. But I got those to watch. We have a uh, Central America game. We got this game. I want to get this game over with because I want to get on. I'm thinking about getting another game on online and playing an opponent. I have an opponent that wants to play uh, Empires of the Sun. So we're thinking about setting that up. But, man, it could be another big game. I don't know if this table here can handle it. But uh, we got okay. And then uh, it's good weather outside. So I'm outside. I got my head spinning about work out there. I'm, I'm kind of splitting my time off. This time off that I have. It's just, it's so packed with things to do. Next thing you know, it's going to be spring. It's going to be time to go back to work. But uh, then we got, starting Friday, the online tournament. And I just signed up for another event. <laughs> I got at least two events a day. Two or maybe three events a good day. And I have scheduled them to where they don't conflict. But there was a Civil War one I just added. And I, lo I love playing games. So we'll see what goes on with it. But I've got a packed weekend starting on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, it'll be in the house. It'll be in the, you know, next to the computer, which is fine. We got that all set up in there really good. And uh, plus we got our Central America game. He just sent me some moves, so I got to get back on that. That'll be move. That'll be the second communist move. And uh, let me just take a break here real quick. All right. Mix and matching games here, but there we go. What will he do? Like I said, I consolidated forces. We're pulling back, but... We got our CIA helicopter ready for us now. But that's another game. Hold on a second. So we're having a great time. It's the heyday of time off. And uh, like I said, we're going to go ahead and uh, binge binge it out this week. And uh, binge will stop Sunday when the convention's over. And then I got a lot of stuff outside to do. Hopefully the weather holds. And I, I got stuff I can do outside now. That's why I'm kind of jumping back and forth. Staying busy, but it is my time off, and I do want to be able to get some gaming time in. But even though I put out a lot of videos, there's a lot of time that I'm doing other stuff. Like I said, we've got a project going on around the house. We're doing all the windows, in and out. And it looks nice, and they've they're, they're had a rough winter. All right, we're drawing cards here to play this game. We might hit this. might be the last draw, it looks like. One. Oh, maybe not. Two. Three. Now, it should be even. And we did take out some cards from that artillery strike. So there we are. Our first card is to place a rifleman. Is it? Yep. He goes to this area one. It's a special area. Where is that? Oh, he's going for area. Oh, I see. he's going for this area here. His one corresponds with the one there. So that makes sense. We've got plenty of a little bit of buffer space between us where he get up on us. So there you go. And I'll tell you another thing that's worth watching on YouTube. And I don't know if you guys, if anybody's into it, but, uh, some of these, I think it's called K-NAL or something, Kernel. And then just uh, The Sun online. But all these uh, um, Ukraine videos where they got the, the, the what do you call it, uh, the drone is up here, almost like my camera is. And you're watching these guys running in and out of these trenches. And a couple of them, one, it was, uh, and he got like a, 2 million views, was a, this poor Russian. There's two Russians are in like this hole right here. And uh, one guy, one guy said to hell with it. He went down into the, <laughs> into the dugout. This other guy was getting attacked by Ukrainians here and Ukrainians over here. 
they were throwing grenades at him, but uh, you could see him shooting. He'd peek out of his hole and shoot, peek out of his hole and shoot. And he was looking back and forth and he stuck his head up and bam, he got hit. He was hit. Next, you know, he just slumped. And uh, the other guy over here threw a grenade into the hole and blew the hole up and then they pixelated it. <laughs> so I guess, I don't know if they were just body parts or what, but uh, yeah. And then another one I just seen uh, earlier was the Ukrainians over here. And they, these guys are just working them way up. And they got the, all Ukraine is, is almost, it's not but strips of woods. A lot of this is nothing but wood lines, and it's what I call strip cover or something when I hunt pheasants. <laughs> Instead of pheasants down in there, the Russians are down in there dug in their uh, trenches in these little wood lines, and that's all it is. And all they do is just shell the hell out of these wood lines. But uh, along the outside of this one wood line, you could see where the Russians were coming on up. And man, they were exchanging fire. I mean, was, uh, to me, I'd have an urgent appointment elsewhere. <laughs> There's no way I'd be doing that. Oh my God! So they, I, don't, I think a couple of them got hit because they hit the ground, and then they started retreating. But oh my God, what what gives a person the gumption to just start firing a gun when you know guys are in front of you firing? I don't know. I'd be telling the other guy, "Go." Oh, that's just the way I am. So anyway, all right, we're back here. He's on up. These guys are coming on up, doing what they do. Let's go for a second one. Rifleman. Oh, okay. We got a little pattern going on here. He is up here, at number three. We have no leaders. So they will have to stop. Oh, there ain't no barbed wire there either. That is a bummer. But there is a little surprise for them when they come on up and hit that trip wire. <laughs> Who do we got up here? We don't have nothing but man. Hold on a second. All right. Cal. Uh, Calil. Fansher. And Gaki. Gakai. So, huh? All right, so it tells me we're going to be fired. What's our last card reveal? All right, next one is damage and, oh, so we got a martyr. Just fired at three. Oh, that's our good artillery truck. That's the only one that's all right. Or the one that already got hit by water fire. <laughs> I love it. This is killer. Good background on the trees. And you know, this might have to go down as the uh, board game designer artwork of the year i mean the best artwork is is definitely gonna have to be this game my girlfriend like i said even walked by here and said "Ooh, look at that i'm like yeah it's really nice so yeah hats off to the um dan version games we'll have to look and see who did the uh artwork or illustrations but yeah fantastic oh uh, where are we at here okay we got a mortar attack we're gonna have to look up real quick be right back all right then we got a roll for each uh person at position uh, buh, 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 buh. If the result is equal to or higher than the defenders, so equal to or higher gets a damage marker on there. What are we rolling here? We are rolling a. Buh, 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 buh. It'll tell you. It doesn't tell you on that. It doesn't tell you on this. No. Okay. Oh, put on a card. Blah, 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 mortar. Six sided die. All right. We got our little dies in order here. And we need a low roll. This will be for the infantry unit. Three. All right, that is a three. So uh, blah, 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 blah. for each defender in the column, and compare it to the result. If the result is equal to or higher than the defender's valor placer. Oh, he got disrupted. So mortars raining down on position three. He's exhausted and disrupted. Now for the artillery unit. They are not the artillery. Well, the artillery jeep. The jeep. Good artillery attack. Oh, comes through. All right, well, he is. Now we see what do we do there. Uh, artillery Jeep. Let me see. We ba -ba 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 -ba. In addition to taking defenders, mortars, attack, we have encounters, roll one to blah blah. Defense value. If the result is going to higher, defense flip the, to its damaged side. All right, so that's what happens here. There you go. Now to call in or to get these markers we gotta roll a six before it was like a four five or six or a five six but now they're damaged it's gonna be a lot harder to call them in we called some in but that's it that'll take care of their attack phase and we did get some damage all right that is it for this round what will our response be oh we have our five markers what do we do what do we do like i said so far so good Morale's up. We're finishing off the... Oh, it's only the second wave, so, yeah. 
it'll get a lot tougher, but so far, we're doing good. Having fun down here in this game. We'll be right back. All right, for our first action, we're going to give it away here to old boy Slap. And you're going to flip over to the exhausted side. He's going to do a command action. There you go. And with that, we will flip everybody over. Get them ready for the next wave. And you can flip over somebody next to him. You're up to three. So our machine gunner is ready to go. What does that M2 look like? It is empty. Oh, oh, he's got some. He's got some ammo. All right. Well, that might be our second action because we got some boys over here trying to squeeze on around. <laughs> so what we will do with our second action is, uh, I think our machine gunner got to warm that thing up. No fire, we'll flip over to exhaust you when we're done. He gets a D12. We will give him, well, we'll take a shot on each. Each one will conserve our ammo. So we'll give him one shot. Over here, expanding around from our M2. Oh, it says I'm low on battery power, so we're gonna have to hurry up here. My charging station's always taken up by something. All right, a D12, and we wanna get a three or more let me see here oh this is called a adjust fire attack successful let me see and roll as many weapons blah 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 compared to attacker's defense value oh uh, it doesn't tell me i think it's got to be over though anything over yeah because it raises up so anything over a three with a d12 oh it's a d12 Three and above. Seven. All right, he's gone. All right. Next shot. Five or above, we have to go up one each time we shoot, so D12. We have to take another ammo from our M2 spot because it's an M2 gun we're shooting. We only got a couple ammo rounds left, so here's the next one. Put that on over here. Oh man, we ain't gonna get away with much of these towers. <laughs> these things fall down. Before I got on, I was he was straightening it up because I bumped it once. Um that is him. Oh we gotta roll, okay, we're rolling. Got a roll would be to five for the area. One D twelve. Twelve, yeah. The high boys are cooking. He's a cooking. That was an assault troop, too. That was a good troop to get out of there. All right, now after our third one, we got to roll one die after the shot. This will be our last shot. Here you go. Use our last clip. Back here. Get our hot die. And we need to roll a, uh, let me see. Took one shot, two shots, three shots, five, six, seven. Got to beat a seven to get the rifleman. Seven. Oh, was it? Is it? Uh, we gotta look on this thing real quick. All right, it says equal to or uh, above five, six, seven. So that was some good shooting. Three of them done. There's our third shot. We have to roll dice. Uh, does it tell you what die you have to roll? What side? Does it have to be a d6? Or can it be a 12? Hold on a second. All right, so the procedure after your third shot is a six sided die. So. We put the 12 or back. A little 12 cider. And this is the proper procedure. All right. Well, we'll roll one die. If we get a one, no, it's a four. So the gun does not overheat. James. Our boy James. There he is. There's the hero of the day. We flip him on over. Thank you for your service, sir. There you go. There you go. There you go. What is that? We got three more tokens. That's the way to do it. Oh, what do we want to do next? We got our old boys up here. I think we might want to move or... Ah, uh, we look at the board, we'll be back. All right, we got all kinds of plans, but I think the most important thing is we'll move these markers. So I don't think an exhaust, anybody, let me see. Major X is exhaust, defense actions. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, recover. Learn defender is disrupted or exhausted. The only action defender can take is to recover, okay. And it does not exhaust. So we will recover one. And we will recover two. I'm going to get these markers off these boys. 
That's two of the covers taken care of. I would have took care of two of these. Oh, cool. We got up here. Exhausted. And whoever else had a recover marker on him, I think it was him. Or was it Adams? Oh, I'll have to rewind. Hold on. But yeah, it was Adams. Okay, those two have been recovered. If this is not exhaust, we have one more marker left. Be right back. Alright, these boys are coming on up pretty quick. I think what I want to do is do a defense phase and that will be repositioned. It will exhaust the unit. But move any unit to any other position on the board. Take a weapon. He ain't going to be taking a weapon with them when they reposition. So, what we will do is I want to reposition somebody with an assist marker. We'll take Queen and we will reposition him over here in area A. He will be exhausted, but he has an assist marker and get him unexhausted. The next turn, that will put him right here. That will take care of my five. One, two, the great machine gun work. Three, four, five. All right, there you go. Recover action, everything else. Ready for our next three cards. One, two, I did that right, and three. Okay, that'll take care of the wave. The wave will be done after this. Yes, <laughs> I think we're in good shape. First card place a leader it's going for area three area three is right here here's the route for it all right well this guy will move up he normally gets bogged down here but he will go up here he'll move up here he'll move up here the leader's here now since the leader's here he carries a pair of wire snips and they will take care of this wire all right that is it um well, let me see. Area three, the wire's up here, so let's hold off a second here. He ain't up there, you don't need it yet, but let's put that wire back up there. When he comes to it, he can chop right through, but right now the wire stays there. Next area will be a place, another leader. It's leader time. Area four. Going for area four. That's the same route. Let's say do this here now. See, see how it forks off in the road. So we'll move him over here, because that's the one they want us to attack. Here, 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 and a leader here. There you go, headed for area four. <laughs> About ready to get a little surprise for him coming on up. All right, last card of the assault wave. Leader two. Go for you to oh, back over here. All right, we'll see what we got. We got us a leader. Area two, another fork in a row, but he'll be making a right. He'll be going up here, here. Ooh, a lot of assault troops on this one. And a leader behind him. Heading on up to leader area two, as per the card. All right, that is it. We're done with another assault wave. Assault wave three, coming up. All right, what do we do now? This is a there's a little in between uh, procedures, and we will straighten up the house <laughs> a little bit. We'll be back. All right, is that a thing of beauty or what? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, it makes it all possible. A good pair of tweezers, <laughs> tweezer land for sure. And there you go, last one. All right, well, we gotta see what the, uh, the procedure is here going on wave number three and so far our morale is up there could use a little bit more intelligence the rear says but we are getting ready to find out well, now i think in this next wave after we do our stuff we will have an objective so we just there uh, is some added incentives uh, let me get this uh rule book open we'll be right back all right ending attack periods one through three this is attack period two so the supplies and the first one really we lucked out. I didn't even know about that, man. What did we luck out on that one? Decrease the morale token. One step for each defender that has a disrupted token on them. Whew. We just got rid of them. I just wanted to do that. That is great. So we don't have to suffer no ill effects there. Remove all disrupted tokens from defenders and place 
talking to the supply we have not to play, so that was great. Lucked out on that one. I could play me a lottery ticket. Uh, let me see. Flip over defenders. All right, so everybody gets unexhausted. That'll be here. Here. I wonder if these Jeeps can ever be repaired. I guess they're out of, out of the picture. We got to roll a six now. It's going to be even harder to call in artillery and. Um, ooh. Signal our call on intelligence. All right, there we go. We are ready to start anew. This this game here, it looks so far like something serious happens. Don't think it to be too hard. That might be why they have these uh, what do you call it, tactics cards and everything to make the game a little bit harder. All right, uh, place all attacker. Oh, oh, I gotta go. We're running out of battery power. Uh, we will be back. All right, fully charged and ready to go. We left off here. Ending the attack for the second wave. And it says down here, we're going to flip defenders, place all assault counters and radio tokens in a supply. Huh. All right, well, I guess all these guys get picked up. And they uh, retreat. <laughs> okay. And it says uh, radio counters and stuff like that, but we don't have any uh, uh, radio counters on there. We used them. Here we go. If there are counters on your radio or radio counters on your Jeeps, that'll be it. So next we go down to leave defenders, weapon counters, and attackers MG42 counters on the board. Leave attackers or weapon counters and attack. Okay, so that's pretty much what we got going on there then. We got the two MG42s, or just one. Oh, we reduced them to one. Got the rest of them in stock. All right, let me clean up here and we will proceed to attack periods two to four set up and oh we have to check out what's uh, up for the, uh, these objectives uh we'll check that out in a second be right back all right i guess we'll get to the objectives after the setup and uh i'm reading here on these setups i guess this is uh standard sorry about the glare setup for each scenario so you'll start off with this they don't withdraw everybody so we'll put one rifleman in the very back spot uh, rifleman time. One, two, three. Oop, we got two of them there. Uh, what else we got going on here? We got one, two. We got another couple. One, two, and eight, and seven. Then two more, and that'll finish it out. One and two. So there's the initial disposition of the forces. Another one of my words I use all the time. All right. That is it. Uh, fence tokens are removed from the board. We have time to go out and get the fences put back, so that'll work. Oh, where do we get these fence markers at? Okay, here they go, right here. One, two. Where are we missing a fence marker? Huh. Well, that wouldn't be surprising <laughs> with all the stuff that's here. Let me look on the floor. I was going to do that when I was done with this game anyway. Definitely be... Oh, there yeah, we got it there. We already got something here already. Yeah, and it was an offense marker. It's an ammo piece. So we're making sure we're all around here. And there are offense markers everywhere, I think. One, two, three. All right, we'll be back. All right, then. We got them in the right spots. I just had one misplaced. I had it up there for some reason. We're up. Uh, brown marker as you can see a brown dot I guess that's for the grenades you know replace the grenades so all of my fence markers are in place and ready to go I guess there's only three of them all right and I'm telling you <laughs> how long these are gonna be for the I look down there on the floor for any uh markers so yeah they just need to be uh need to get more extras of those because oh my god but oh well, we'll see all right, so we put our fence markers back in. Place the fence tokens back on the board. Move ammunition tokens from the ammunition area to the loaded area of each ammunition square up to its loaded value. Well, that'll work. All right, let's see here. What do we do on that? Move ammunition tokens from the area, from the ammunition area to the loaded area up to, well, we ain't got none. We spent them all. Huh. Loaded ammunition turn, loaded six. Should we do that right? Let's do M1919. 
Uh, I'm gonna check this out. Be right back. All right, I'm gonna do it this way this time. These are all the units we got to distribute wherever we want. There's the machine guns, all the other good stuff you can see here. Uh, company or Group A, it's the strongest. Old Dustman. He's a commander, I guess, or he can you know, he can inspire them all. An A. You got your couple machine gunners there, rolling D8s. Strong man there is Krieger. Was a five valor. He rolls a D6 so Another D8 roller, McConnell, Adams. Their valor numbers. I got a McClorian that. Then we got uh, Company B or whatever. Redmond's their leader. A couple machine gunners. And uh, Calais or Kalil. Fans, Char, Fancher. And then over here, C Company. The C Company's got the assist guy, so we got to maybe. You want to keep them together, but that assist marker definitely helps. All three of them are company C is nothing. I wonder if that's a medical. If that's a bunch of medics, huh? And then you got Slap, who is a commander, machine gunner. Yeah, he's all kinds of things. And our M2, and we got our two machine guns we can place two. Uh, as per rules, attack periods two to four. These boys all start off in a long cabin, I guess, getting things organized. And they'll be uh, distributing the forces, getting ready for Assault 3. I think that's all we do. Uh, also, when we get done with the setup, attack periods 3 and 4 have unique setup considerations for operate objectives. So maybe we need to look at that first. We'll be right back. All right, well, this is kind of neat. A little new mechanic just comes in here. Uh, we pick a mortar card. We uh, distribute these medic, German medics, and what they are. And they all go along these four spaces. One, two, three. And, uh, uh, blah, 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 face up alongside the mortars. After that, the mortars will roll two dice for each attack. And, uh, defenders gain access to the reveal action. And that's an action that you can take that, uh, it's a minor action. It won't exhaust the defender. And, uh, you get to take a chance and find out which one's the forward observer that's calling in all these good water attacks on you. So, uh, and you get to take the medic off. It just depends. But yeah, that's a, something you do is try to eliminate these. And one of these guys is a forward observer. All right. Uh, let me see. An attacker medic counter that has been flipped and revealed as the disguised forward observer can be removed by a normal attack or a, a just fire action. So no guarantee to be removed then where the other ones would be. The disguised forward observer is considered to be in the four assault counter space for defense purposes. So you gotta be able to roll four or higher. When this disguised forward observer counter is removed, also removed the forward observer objective card so that the mortar stop. So there you go. We're getting ready to distribute then and uh, get ready for wave number three. Be right back. All right, I'm getting ready to place my forces. And uh, orange blocks, they give you those in the game. I put those in the areas that cannot receive anybody. They've got to be left em uh, empty. They were left empty during the last wave, too, so I don't know what's up with that in the game. Oh, what was I thinking of here? Oh, place some machine guns. I got two machine guns, but the M1919 has no ammo. I don't know if we're, if we're out of ammo already because it doesn't say to re replenish it. It says take it from one square to put it in the other. Well, I'm out. So I don't know what to, if I did that right or not. And then here's our other one, M2. But again, no ammo. The only one that does have my ammo, the M1919, it's been melted down and removed from play. So I got them there. I was looking through the rules and see if there's any other way to restock the ammo. But it wasn't in part of the setup. Uh, ending periods set up. Place attacker markers, fence tokens, move ammunition tokens from the ammunition area to the loaded area of each ammunition space up to that. It doesn't say nothing about taking it from the stock here. So, I don't know, pull or going with the way the game is. Alright, now I guess I'll start. And I wanted to machine gun seriously, had some good fire on each of my ends. I mean, you could have, it'd be ideally better to have one on each, each section. I mean, crossing these white lines to shoot. 
but uh, they're there. Whether they can, they ain't got no ammo, <laughs> so we'll put that into uh, into consideration. We're getting ready to distribute our men. We'll be back. All right, we are set up and uh, kept the old boys here. Oh, book or buck. <laughs> He's gonna move on down in here. I got a bunch of them that are gonna move on down, but I try to keep them together with their squads together spaces because that star gives them all an incentive, an extra die roll. So that's kind of how we're doing that. And the same thing here, you can see they're all together. Star gives these guys an extra die roll. I wanted to keep this commander slap with a C for command action. You can flip anybody over three units either here, here, or here. We got Preston over there, he's an A also. He's got the machine gun, but like I said, unless there's some way to get ammo there, we ain't, we're out of ammo on our big machine guns. No gacky from C. We had to split C up. He's got that assist marker, though, so I don't know if I want to do that. Let me redo that. We'll be right back. All right, I switched old gacky out with McConnell. McConnell will be over there by himself, but that way gacky with that assist. One slap does his command action. Nobody else can flip him over, but old gacky. All right, that's how it is. We didn't give too much thought to it. It's a little bit of strategies. Ain't too deep of a game. Um, radio's still damaged, so it's going to be hard to get signals out now. Uh, getting ready for the uh, turn three wave. We'll be pull, pulling uh, cards for that here in a second. And we got some new objectives to incorporate, too. So we're going to kick back and enjoy us this game until, well, until it's time to... Fix dinner, waiting on a, our home chef deliveries. <laughs> I, I, I could go on about that home chef all day. I, we love that. That is killer. So we're waiting for our dinners to get delivered. All right. More look at here. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Kind of dog to check on. It's some other stuff to do. When we come back, we'll be drawing cards for attack number three.